yes people uh, continue writing people whatever we were doing uh, i believe you are done till rule 8 uh, we'll see that rule 3b write down rule 3b according to rule 3b this was introduced in nidhi nidhi amendment rules okay nidhi amendment now we will see rule 3b nidhi amendment rules 2022 according to this the new provision is that the public company the public company in order to be declared as nidhi in order to be declared as nidhi shall apply shall apply in form in form ndh4 within within 120 days of within 120 days of incorporation within 120 days of incorporation and ensure and ensure it has and ensure it has and ensure it has minimum minimum 200 members and net owned fund sarvesh net owned fund of rupees net owned fund of rupees 20 lakh or more or more done uh, okay copy data uh. so people uh, we had seen one rule people called rule 5 according to rule 5 there was one provision uh, the old provision was within one year of incorporation every nidhi company has to achieve certain targets the target was in terms of number of members they have to be make it 200 net owned funds how much 10 lakhs you remember earlier it was 10 lakhs uh, simultaneously we had referred to one more rule called uh, rule 9 also in rule 9 it said on an ongoing basis you need to maintain 20 lakhs but this within one year you had to maintain 10 lakhs and there were other condition also net owned funds uh, ratio 1 is to 20 we had seen all that and we saw whichever is the company which is incorporated after this nidhi rules April 2022. For them, Rule Five was not applicable. Correct? Ah, in that place, people, a new rule has been introduced. The new rule is this: people, Rule Three B. Rule Three B says that now the timelines and all are stringent. Now, what is the timeline? They say if you want to be called as a Nidhi company within 120 days of incorporation, you need to have minimum 200 shareholders. and within 120 days of incorporation you need to have a net owned funds of 20 lakh rupees or more the, the back then people the provisions were little uh, lenient if you are not able to achieve within one year rd used to give you an uh, approval of additional one year now all that is not there maximum period is 120 days no extension nothing is available now if all of this is satisfied within 120 days of incorporation you need to file a form called as ndh4 NDH four is filed. Now you can go and work as a Nidhi company. Understood? Ah, uh, people. Earlier, what used to happen? People, you used to start as a Nidhi company. Within one year, you have to prove that yes, I am satisfying the condition. Now, what is the thing, people? A public company, in order to be declared as Nidhi, meaning what? This one twenty days, you are not a Nidhi. In this one twenty days, you will just be working towards becoming a Nidhi. on the 120th day if you are successfully filing ndh4 if you are satisfying all the conditions only then you will be declared as a nidhi company understood uh, these are the little differences that are introduced before amendment after amendment before if you logically think the uh, first day only they called you nidhi first day only later you prove 
that you are capable of being called nidhi now what they are telling you first day you are not nidhi you take 120 days time if at all you are satisfying then you will be declared as nidhi or else until then you cannot be called as a nidhi company is what they are telling you. understood da huh? yes sir that's a new introduction that is rule 3b and you written till uh, rule 8 uh, correct no okay write down next one rule uh, Okay, write down rule 17, which talks about directors of Nidhi. Who can be a director? He or she shall be, he or she shall be a member of Nidhi. He or she shall be a member of Nidhi. term up to 10 consecutive years up to 10 consecutive years after expiry of need to have need to have done and comply with section How many rules are there in Nidhi company? You write that, I'll tell you. There are more rules. <laughs> nice doubts you'll ask them. Till that, based on the doubt you tell me, who would have asked? <laughs> See? <laughs> Sarvesha. How many? Sir, tomorrow is a holiday. Huh? <laughs> His doubts should be revolving around that time. When will we? <laughs> uh, okay. Rule 17 says people with regards to directors. Who and all can be directors of Nidhi company? The first criteria is you need to also be a member. Only member can be a director of Nidhi. See, this is a little peculiar uh, rule. There is This condition is not there in any other type of company, even in a Section 8 company. You To be a director, you need not be a shareholder. Nidhi says to be a director, you need to be a member also. So, if you actually try to see, everyone are them only. There is no outsider at all. Even a director himself is not an outsider. It is the point. Huh? Okay. Next one, term people up to 10 consecutive years. Reappointment possible. Just that after expiry of 2 years. School of period is there. Need to have been and comply with section 164. 164, disqualification of directors. I am not telling you should be disqualified. I am telling you need to go through that. You should not be disqualified. Only then you can be appointed as a director in a Nidhi company. Clear? Huh? Okay, write down. Next one. Uh, rule 13. Rule 13 talks about deposits. 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 Under deposits, write down two things. One, what can be the tenure of the deposit you can accept? Next one is interest you can pay. The tenure. First one, if at all you are accepting as an FD, then minimum will be 6 months. Maximum is, maximum is 60 months. RD. RD means people? Regional oil one. <laughs> If that much clarity we have means oh ma. it's like getting on Sukapuri only. RD relating to RD relating to mortgage. It shall correspond to it shall correspond to the period of loan. On the other hand, interest rate. If it's savings account, remember the maximum you can accept. So the maximum balance that can be taken is rupees one lakh. More than that cannot be held as a savings account. Interest on savings account, 
maximum maximum 2% above maximum 2% above nationalized banks maximum 2% above nationalized banks second one in the case of fd and rd it shall not exceed maximum rate prescribed by rbi maximum rate prescribed by rbi to nbfcs kapida dana kesa dana okay so what are they saying people now i told you nidhi the major objective is only accepting loan right if you can accept deposits giving loan they are telling you with regards to deposits certain rules are there what is that with regards to what is a minimum maximum tenure what is the interest you can pay it depends upon on what you are accepting if at all it is called as fd fd people the minimum tenure is 6 months not below that possible it is not possible maximum 60 months that is your tenure minimum has to be 6 months maximum can be 60 months if at all you are accepting rd rd means people recurring deposit i i hope you guys know what is rd and fd rd is like if you guys get any interest it will be put back into the second year so for the second year principal plus interest whatever is the amount on that you will get interest that is called as rd it is basically like cumulative okay so that is minimum 12 months maximum is 60 months rd relating to mortgage it shall correspond to the period of loan now what do you mean by that sir now for example people imagine if a person wants loan can he borrow loan from nidhi company yes he can yes or no he can borrow loan right in a nidhi company if a person wants ah uh, correct if he is a member he can borrow loan yes or no da ah uh, yes sir so in a nidhi company you can borrow loan now sir whenever you are borrowing loan from nidhi company nidhi is not allowed to give loans without collateral collateral is mandatory you need to have collateral okay now what can i accept as collateral you can accept gold you can accept property you can accept whatever is the rd of that person also meaning what in your account in your nidhi company only i have my rd my rd i have done a rd for 4 years 3 years whatever is the account i am depositing the money you have it with you on that you can give as a collateral and you can take loan it is allowed it is allowed it seems get in the point ah uh, okay sir if that is the case then what will be the tenure of my rd they are telling you whatever is the tenure of your loan up to that loan period you can let your rd mature that is fine so the maximum period let us imagine maximum period is 60 months a rd but imagine if your loan was 80 months now the rd maturity period will also be 80 months sir that is not fair no sir they logically think da why is it kept collateral why is it said da it shall correspond to the uh, tenure of your loan if at all i repay your money within 60 months your loan will have to be paid up to 80 months for that next 20 months there will be no collateral if i repay this money to you by the end of the 60th month so what are they telling you whatever is your collateral that is your rd if you are giving it as a collateral for the loan whatever is the loan period to the same extent you can let your rd also run understood ah huh? yes sir that is what is given here see rd relating to mortgage mortgage you have taken loan it shall correspond to the period of loan yes sir sir rate of interest sir now fd you can take rd you can take can i accept anything else sir you can accept something else also it seems what you can accept people you can accept savings bank account also savings bank account means people whenever you go you ask you demand for money they have to pay you they cannot say no that's the difference between savings fd rd fd rd always comes with a maturity period savings bank account you guys go and withdraw in the atm you'll get money that means there is no time fixed correct ah now they are telling you the maximum amount a nidhi can accept in the form of savings account cannot exceed 1 lakh rupees so up to 1 lakh you can accept it in such a way that whenever the member comes and asks for it you will have to repay that is savings account sir if it is savings account the maximum rate of interest that a nidhi can pay 
maximum 2% above the nationalized bank. Maximum 2% above the nationalized bank. Meaning, how much ever the nationalized banks are paying now on savings bank account. Maximum you can go up by 2%, not beyond that. Now, for example, people, if you look at your on savings bank account, the maximum rate of interest you will get is 4%, not below, not above that. So, how much a Nidhi can pay on savings account is maximum 6%, not beyond that. Sir, FDRD, sir, not exceed maximum rate prescribed by RBI to NBFC. Now, NBFC is Muthut, Manapuram, Bajaj, Finance or whatever these companies are. Now, these people will also accept MD, uh, FDs and RDs. How much ever RBI has set a limit for them? It will come somewhere on 7%. How much ever RBI has allowed them to have it? The same percentage will apply to Nidhi also. You cannot give more interest than what is prescribed to NBFCs by RBI. If RBI has prescribed 7% to NBFC, the same thing will apply to you also. Simple, na? Understood this, na? Clear, na? Okay, right on. Next one. Rule 16. Why do you guys do that? Why do you guys do this? Rate of interest on. Okay, write down. Rate of interest on loan to members. Rate of interest on loan to members. Write down two. Not to exceed seven and a half percent above. Highest rate on deposits, it is always on reducing balance method same interest for all Display on notice board. Display on notice board. Okay. Rule 16 says rate of interest on loans to members. Rate of interest on deposits we saw. How much you can pay. Now people, we are giving loans. What is the maximum rate of interest we can charge on these loans they are telling you? Not to exceed 7.5% above the highest rate on deposits. What do you mean by that? Whatever is the maximum rate you are paying on deposit, you take all the deposits. What is the maximum rate you are paying as a rate of interest? Let us take, if a person is doing a FD with us, let us imagine we are paying him somewhere around 6%. The maximum Nidhi can charge, if they are giving loan to people, the maximum they can charge is 7.5% on 6%. I am not telling they have to charge this as a minimum. That is the maximum slab. You cannot go beyond that. It can be anything between 6 to that whatever plus 7.5%. Is this clear? Huh? This is the maximum rate. And rate of interest is always charged on reducing balance method. Meaning, whenever you guys take loan, every year they will be charging you a percentage of interest. There will be, you guys call it as something called EMI. Huh? In EMI, people always remember, if they are collecting 10,000 rupees from you, 10% will be principal, 90% will be interest amount. 10% is principal, no. Next year, how much ever principal you have repaid, on that interest will not be charged. This method is called as reducing balance method. As and when you repay principal, the interest will go on reducing on whatever you are repaying. So, never think the interest is going to be constant. No matter what type of loan you take, it is always going to decrease. By the time you reach the last installment, this will become ulta. Meaning, sir, the principal component will increase, the interest component will decrease. Understood? Huh? That's why banks will survive. Understood? Huh? Okay. Sir, same interest for all. No Tara Tamya. Sir, who is Tara Tamya? We know film actor Ramya. <laughs> who is Tara Tamya? Da? Tara Tamya means no, no partiality. Yeah. 
பாரபட்சம் எஸ் ஐ டோன் நோ வாட் இஸ் பட் எஸ் ஆ கஸ்டமர் சட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்ஷன் ஓகே டிஸ்ப்ளே ஆன் நோட்டீஸ் போர்டு எஸ் பீப்பிள் சிப்காவோ தட் திஸ் இஸ் தி ரேட் ஆஃப் இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் எஸ் ஆ இஃப் யூ ரிமெம்பர் वी ஹேட் சீன் ஒன் மோர் திங் ஆல்சோ பிரைவேட் சர்க்குலேஷன் ஆஃப் அட்வர்டைஸ்மென்ட் which says what is the rate of interest allowed so notice board you can post it it's allowed okay read on next one uh read on rule 15 rule 15 loan provisions loan provision sarvesha sarvesha hat bajiya you tell me if at all you, we'll leave it we'll leave it <laughs> if not we'll file something to rd we'll file <laughs> okay nothing like that allowed no exceptions is it something like pushkara they say no what do you say that <laughs> once in uh, that gautam buddha thing will come no once in 12 years it is uh, mahamasta kabhishekam in uh, companies that how will allow once in 12 years da uh, one generation only will come and go uh, not there 100% not even a doubt as far as my 10 years of companies act <laughs> studying is concerned i have not seen that rule okay it is given only to members limits right on what does it mean sukapuri <laughs> <laughs> total deposits of nidhi i didn't understand anything you concentrate on nidhi rules da <laughs> maximum loan per member you don't deviate you you focus no nah, you'll write this you'll write this 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 so sir total deposits of nidhi if the total deposits of nidhi is less than less than rupees 2 crore then the maximum loan per member is 2 lakh more than 2 crore to 20 crore more than 2 crore to 20 crore more than 2 crore to 20 crore this one sec i'll check if it is there for you ah okay people now this is how the legislation is drafted interpretation of statute is done na no okay when it done you can uh, see this particular provision now wherever we have seen people you would have seen either up to 2 crore 2 crore or more now whatever is the maximum uh, whatever is the loan a person can get in a nidhi depends upon what is the total deposits a nidhi has accepted now what does the provision say people the loan given by a nidhi to a member shall be subject to the following limits now what is that 2 lakh rupees can be given where the total amount of deposits of such nidhi from its members is less than 2 crore rupees okay na okay 12 lakh rupees where the total amount of no 7 lakh 50000 rupees where the total amount of deposits of such nidhi from its members is more than 2 crore 2 crore kahan gaya hai use dhoondo <laughs> there is a pure <laughs> blank in the law itself it's a incomplete law this is bare act what we are seeing it's not your textbook by the way color color allah This is a bear act. So in the bear act only, what they have said is less than two crore is one limit, more than two crore is one limit. So in your exam also it will come like that only. Two crore won't come. If it comes, sir, write down there is no limit for exact two crore. So you can say that if it is less than two crore, this is the limit applicable. More than two crore, this is the limit applicable. Is clear all of you? Yes. Pakka. 
ha huh. yes sir they have to but they they haven't what to do okay so people more than 2 crore up to 20 crore people then what is the maximum you can give rupees 7 lakh 50000 if it is in the case of 20 crore to 50 crore maximum people rupees 12 lakh more than rupees 50 crore in such case people rupees 15 lakh rupees 15 lakh yes sir more than 50 crore rupees 15 lakh note note when nidhi has not made profits when nidhi has not made profits for for continuous 3 years then above limits then above limits shall be read as 50% the above rules shall be read as 50% copy down now what they are telling you people whenever nidhi is accepting deposits what is the maximum loan also it can give there is always a ratio now what is that they are telling you if at all the total fds rds everything that nidhi has accepted if the total is coming to less than 2 crore each member of nidhi can get maximum up to 2 lakh rupees if at all your total deposits is more than 2 crore up to 20 crore each member can get maximum up to 7 lakh 50000 as loan i am not telling this is what you will get i am telling you this is what maximum you can get the next one is if it is 20 crore to 50 crore then you can get up to 12 lakh more than 50 crore you will get up to 15 lakh however in the last 3 years if nidhi has not made profits in the last 3 continuous years profits is not there in such case what they are telling you whatever are the limits above has to be read as if it's only 50% allowed meaning what now let us imagine in my nidhi company there is no profits in the last 3 years and the total deposits the nidhi has accepted is up to 1.5 crore then the maximum loan one person can get is 1 lakh understood huh? so accordingly you need to apply it to all these conditions is this clear all of you yeah. ha Meaning, like, ah, that's fine. That's fine. The only thing is, people, this is person's deposit, and Nidhi's overall deposit. Am I talking about me depositing <laughs> me depositing fifty crore and taking fifteen lakh as loan, ah, or Nidhi is taking F, I mean FD from everyone? And they have accumulated fifty crore, and I can borrow up to fifteen lakh. What is that I am telling? Or alarm. So imagine when I am depositing fifty crore, why do I have fifteen lakhs? Now, uh, uh, like, Bagya, you are the right person to tell. Da 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 da. Well, I am. You are the right person to tell. Da. Tell me why is it still running? Ah, <laughs> tell the. So see the people who are using this is you can imagine the income level also. That is why I am telling you the way the places where these are uh, situated. Now, for example, I'll tell you. Uh, I had been to one of my relatives place. Uh, I had to return back on a particular day. But, but the day I wanted to return back, that is when I first time saw this uh, company called as Nidhi Company in one of the places. Uh, you know, I stayed back that day, and uh, uh, fortunately, one of my relative works there. So I went and I started knowing what is this? Why do you guys work like this? And uh, that is when I got to know that that kind of people who invest in this. So I am talking about a very remotest rural village. I tell you. one of the member is a person who runs this idlis you know uh, they, he sells only idlis he he is a member 
he has a fd account here he puts his whatever is the savings there he puts in this so what i am telling you always think from the scale of people who are coming under that particular uh, rural background i am not at all touching about the urban background now he needs loan you know what is the loan he took for he had all this uh, you know that uh, coconut leaves that was the uh, i don't know how do i say that the shop was completely built on that he wanted to replace it with a uh, iron shutter uh, probably somewhere on 60000 rupees was the cost and he had taken a nidhi loan on it so uh, that's when i realized okay it's working in a way wherein it will serve your small scale businesses and if you guys have a immediate need for that this will be of a help yes sir there are people who take medical aid also here so a treatment 5 lakh 10 lakh it will be of a help because the rate of interest is always reasonable when compared to a bank no no they are absolutely i mean you can imagine still they follow the pass book sort of system once in a month you need to go and get an entry done uh, absolutely now i am telling you the nidhi company what i am telling the total number of members in the nidhi company as on record is somewhere around 4000 people i'm sure in in her nidhi if she asks the no total number of members will be in thousands only more than this 100% but you should look at the active members also the active members here is somewhere around 700 and who where are the rest of the people the nidhi i'm talking about was situated in the year 1903 who are the others where are they also you will not be able to find yes sir now why did this nidhi became so popular if you look at nidhi 2022 april 2022 is when the amendments came government wanted to know what are you doing with that money if people are not there what is happening what is the status what is the outstanding amounts so one time they asked for all the details and now completely regulated earlier that was not the case now it is almost regulated only clear huh? yes sir huh? okay this is your rule 15 right on the next rule which one same thing you need to read this as less than 20 crore you need to read this as more than 20 crore you are asking where will exactly 20 come <laughs> Next time you also come. Let's go to Mahamastika Vishaka. We saw na. That is only silent talk. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh. 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 Here also non-performing assets will be there. Definitely. I'm talking about idli. <laughs> One day chutney is not good. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> no okay uh next one we will write down rule 18 rule 18 sarvesh what's up sarvesh dividend people maximum 25% next one people rule 10 branches of nidhi dividend simple ah huh? earlier this was a very big provision and all they made an amendment the entire provision they have signed off now what is there is only 25% yes sir clear up now what is the maximum a company can pay is 25% but remember and go what was the earlier provision if they want to pay beyond rd approval was required regional directors now they have removed the entire part so above is not possible at all the maximum you can pay is up to 25% clear ah sir branches of nidhi can we have branches why not what is the maximum sir it can open only when only when nippat what is nippat Oh, is this? Sorry, net profit after tax. What do you guys call it as? No pat. No pat. Huh? Oh, you're all posh. We call nipat. <laughs> okay, right on. It can open only when net profit after tax for three consecutive financial years is in profits. 
So last three years profits people, only then you are allowed to open a branch as such. If not, wherever you guys are, you have to go to that one branch only and you have to deposit the money. That's the meaning. Okay. How many branches can I open, sir? If this is the case, you can open up to three branches. Wherever I want, I can open a sir. No, you can open maximum within district only. You cannot cross the district also. Tell your name. Except two districts, they have all the places. Huh? We'll see. In Chennai alone, they have Gadi number two. Ah, same limited liability. Whatever is your uh, shares you have taken, same thing. Okay. It can open only when net profit after tax for three considered annual profits. Okay. Of course, people, uh, financial statements, financial statements and annual returns are up to date. Meaning, whatever the filings are, what is Nippata? <laughs> Huda, tell me. <laughs> Net profit after tax. I would have told you, Dan, you would have uh, concentrated only on the word you are writing that time. Net profit after tax. When I was telling also, I told you Sarveshu I told you. Sarveshu. Ah, okay. More than three branches. More than three branches within district or any branch, any branch outside the district, outside the district. In such case, can this happen as a first of all? Yes, people, how with prior regional director approval with prior regional director approval whenever you want to talk to regional director it will be in the form ndh2 plus you need to intimate you have taken the approval to roc intimation to roc about such approval taken from regional director third one Prohibition, branch or whatever you the name you call, collection centers or office, there is a absolute prohib prohibition it seems. When, if at all you want to set up any branch outside the state, absolutely prohibited. Yes, sir. Closure. Can you close? Yes, sir. What are the conditions? Plan for plan for paying deposits plus Recovering loans plus approval by board of directors plus regional director. After all this, after taking RD approval, after RD's approval, Publish it in publish it in newspaper publish it in newspaper within thirty days within thirty days prior to prior to the closure. 
also notice to be put on notice to be put on nidhi's notice board and you need to notify roc within 30 days of within 30 days of the closure within 30 days of closure kopida yes sir so what are we seeing people can a nidhi have a branch it can have its own provided there are certain conditions you need to satisfy if these conditions are not satisfied you cannot have a branch so only one office will be there you guys have to go there only now what is that people it can open only when if you want to open a branch the first main condition is after paying all your expenses you need to be in a profit in the last three consecutive years net profit after tax mean you have paid everything and still you are in profits for the three consecutive financial years and you have paid your financial statements you have also filed your annual returns if everything is up to date then they will allow you to open nidhi company up to maximum people three up to three branches you can open however these three has to be within the district you cannot go beyond the district now if i say bangalore is a district it has to be within the bangalore only three branches it has to be within the bangalore i cannot go even to a neighboring place mysore not possible i cannot go to mandya not possible getting this point on huh? okay sir if at all i want to establish more than three branches it within bangalore only maximum three allowed huh? if i want to establish a fourth one or even if i have to establish one branch out of my district i'm going beyond bangalore even if i want to establish one branch then people for both the condition then the condition is people you need to take prior rd approval in form ndh2 then i want to set up a branch beyond my district the second thing is you need to intimate to roc upon this particular intimation and approval you got from rd you can set up a branch even beyond your district or the fourth branch within the district the third one sir prohibition they are telling you there is an absolute prohibition in some people you can never open a nidhi company beyond your state always remember each nidhi will function in their own state you cannot go beyond state not allowed not possible the last one sir can i close my branch office sir is it possible they are telling you it's possible how you have to submit a plan for paying all the deposits you have taken from that particular branch nearby whoever have opened next one you have to give a plan for recovering the loans if at all someone has taken loans the third one is you have to take the approval of your nidhi's board of directors along with that you need to take approval of regional director all these are done people after rd also is given his approval you need to publish a newspaper advertisement that the nidhi is going to close this and this branch 30 days prior to the closure you will give it to a public notice and finally people if everything is done you will also publish it on the notice board of the nidhi and the last one people you will notify roc within 30 days of the closure this particular thing has been shut down i'm not telling winding up of nidhi i'm telling closure of a branch clear don't think is it so simple I'm just closing down one branch that's all clear clear all of you okay Loans by Nidhi have seen, rate of interest, directors, dividend, process of incorporation of Nidhi we have seen, no, object should be one only, cultivating the habit, uh, the word Nidhi limited has to be added, uh, minimum is 10 lakh rupees, we have done this, no, requirement for minimum numbers, number of members, net owned funds, people, okay, you guys have not yet got it, right? Now people, in your book, in your ICSI material, this is how they have given requirements for minimum number of members, net owned fund, they have given it as rule 5. Under rule 5, they have given this content. What, you remember the 120 days thing we wrote? And they wrote all these things. Yes sir, that is not how it is people. Rule 5 says different. According to rule 5, this is still 10 lakhs only. Yes sir, whatever we wrote in the notes, follow that. Clear, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. General restrictions or prohibitions you have done, huh? General restrictions, what by general restrictions? What by general restrictions, huh? 
Sir, to close a branch, why do you have to give a newspaper advertisement? Are you sure uh, your uh, whatever the deposits you have done, what if it is not repaid? Now imagine you had you had a branch office somewhere in let us take for example out of the district. So whoever are the people residents there, you guys would have come and opened your deposits there. Now they are closing down. First of all, did you get back your money? Do you know? So they are telling you close down whatever is the outstanding deposits you have. Close it now. Clear? Huh? Yes, sir. In the company, huh? uh, Okay, one second, wait. Nidhi companies can provide loan to its members subject to certain limits as per Nidhi rules 2014. Rakesh being a member of Nidhi company wants to know the limits mentioned under Nidhi rules 2014 and also seek your advice whether a second loan can be granted within limits specified if first loan is overdue, outstanding and remains unpaid. Try to think and tell me the answer. So up to 1 lakh rupees or, or I mean up to 2 lakh rupees, whatever is that, that is the maximum a member can get. It is never about the number of loan, it is always about the outstanding amount. A person, it's not about per transaction, I am not telling every time you will get 2 lakh rupees. Whatever is the loans you have taken, aggregate cannot go beyond 2 lakh rupees. Yes, sir. Huh? Outstanding in the sense it is tenure. If it is a default, obviously I will not pay. Yes, sir. There is one more thing. That concept is not there in your new syllabus. Earlier, I used to go in detail. You had something called as non-performing asset, defaulting asset. You guys had this in the previous syllabus. And that was introduced as an amendment. But now that is not there in your syllabus. So, certain questions you might feel, Ayo, something all is there. Eh? That is not there in new syllabus. To be very frank for Nidhi, at least they have taken away 30 to 40 percent of content what was there in the old syllabus. They have taken it off. Yes, sir. They have reduced your syllabus, people. They have drastically reduced. Huh. Correct, yes. Correct, yes. Based upon the total number of deposits, uh, you can get up to 2 lakh rupees. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Then go for a break in time.